Hi, so in this video we're going to take a look at how to use a compressor within Reaper and how to make your audio louder without clipping your audio. So you can simply make your audio louder by just dragging this uh, volume um, item, but at a certain point you're going to get a problem where your audio goes above zero decibels and that will introduce that's called audio clipping and it will introduce distortion so you can't do too much of that but you can combat this problem by using a tool called compressor so type in um, re comp in your effects filter and drag it onto onto your audio clip and we're gonna go to the default settings right here so what compressor does it makes your audio quieter um, when it is above a certain threshold so in in essence your whole audio recording will become more even or uh, as the name of the effect suggests uh, compressed and initially that makes your audio quieter but since all of your um, peaks now uh, are going to be more even you can uh, increase your audio levels without uh, introducing audio clipping and audio distortion so after doing that your overall audio will become louder so the way you do it uh, I would leave the attack release settings as they are by default this this will determine how fast um, compressor applies and, and how long it takes for it to I guess deapply and then ratio will determine um, how harsh the compressor is so the, the the higher the ratio the more the harsh it will become I like to have it at 3 to 1 ratio if you do too much of compression it is going to sound a little bit weird and, and crushed so you don't want to go above uh, 4 to 1 ratio most of the time then I wouldn't worry about all of these settings. They, the low pass and high pass filters, they will determine you know, which frequencies are going to be affected. And then um, besides the ratio, another probably most important setting is going to be threshold. So threshold will determine from which point your audio is, is affected. So a good starting point is going to be Min minus 20 decibels threshold right so we can go to that and now if I play my audio that we are going to work with when applying audio volume adjustments so if you look at this meter you can see uh, how, how, how our audio recording is affected um, basically any time it goes to those peaks it is decreasing our audio levels so now this whole effect just made our audio uh, recording quieter but to make make up for all of that loss in volume you, know, you can check this box auto auto make up and now if we play it again you'll notice that your whole audio recording is much louder that we are going to work with when applying audio volume adjustments